Now what I've got here is a uh, cheap little uh, directional antenna that I picked up off eBay and it's uh, only 8 dBi in uh, gain so you know it's not going to break any world records or anything like that but I was told about this antenna over on uh, Facebook and uh, I'm pretty new to Facebook but uh, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to uh, check me out on Facebook but I'm also opening a group there because I think it's going to be much easier to uh, answer comments in any great detail but uh, I got told about this antenna and the person uh, said you know it's uh, an alpha fake knockoff so I went over to uh, eBay and I purchased this one here and uh, I only paid about £3.50 and uh, free shipping from uh, China for this so it's not very expensive and uh, it didn't mention on the description anything about uh, Alpha Networks or claiming to be uh, one of their antennas and I looked at a few more as well and none of those um, you know mentioned that this was a uh, knockoff as such and uh, the main description uh, touted this as a uh, radar shaped directional antenna now why would somebody think that this is uh, an Alpha Networks uh, directional antenna knockoff and that is due to uh, this antenna here which is uh, pretty iconic now it's a very old antenna and they used to give it away with uh, their uh, alpha cards but uh, now you can pick this up on its own for you know even this one uh, a genuine alpha one for around six seven pounds off of ebay so you can kind of see that uh, the shape is uh, similar to the uh, alpha one but i wouldn't go as far as saying it's an alpha knockoff now this particular Alpha card, this one I've had for a very long time. I've got a couple more in boxes as well, but I've taken this one apart a few times and I've uh, taken it apart to basically copy uh, the inside of this. But um, it's a rock solid antenna and I used to use it a lot as a uh, yardstick because this Alpha is 7 dBi and uh, it really is 7 dBi. It's, uh, you know, pretty much spot on so i used to use this as a yardstick to uh, test against uh, to see how well some of my uh, designs in the early days performed next to this and i could kind of work out by using this uh, you know say a single by quad um, i normally say that a single by quad is around 9 db i but uh, depending on the thickness of the reflector and how good you are at building it you can increase that a little bit so it really is a rock solid antenna but uh, even the alpha one is not going to break any world records and I've got a little scan here that you can see I've got this uh, Chinese one here on the top and the alpha one at the bottom and you can see that uh, the Chinese one claims to be 1 dBi over this at uh, 8 dBi and the alpha one 7 you can see that uh, this one does perform a little bit better over the uh, alpha one so it probably is working at around 8 dbi now as i said both of these antennas aren't going to break any world records and a uh, single bi quad does knock things out of the park so i've got another scan here where you can see uh, a single bi quad that i've uh, built uh, quite some time ago uh, just using a pcb as a uh, reflector performs much better than either of these two and that's down to the fact that uh, it's uh, much wider in its beam width the uh, bi quad and uh, it is a little bit more powerful on the dbs there so it picks up a lot more access points so i'm not claiming that uh, this is an alpha knockoff i don't think it is i can't see any evidence for any of these sellers trying to claim that it is and uh, this kind of shape i mean uh, Alpha don't have uh, intellectual uh, property over this shape and it is a kind of a uh, radar -y shape and I think that's also why this one as well did so well because uh, novices who you know just do a quick search to see how they can uh, improve a Wi-Fi signal um, this kind of shape tends to be what you would think of as an antenna and I think that's why Yagi's are so popular as well it's just what we think of in our imagination of what an antenna should look like and uh, this one here 
that uh, I brought up on the image of the screen. This used to be one of the best selling uh, directional antennas that uh, Maplin, which is now defunct, used to sell. And the only reason that uh, it sold so well is because it was shaped like a uh, satellite dish. And again, people going into that store not really knowing uh, you know, anything about uh, what they want to buy, they just want a directional antenna to improve their signal, uh, used to buy this and they used to sell a lot of them. And uh, yeah, I've done a teardown of uh, one of those type of antennas before on this channel and it doesn't perform all that well. I think it does perform probably around, uh, you know, these kind of standards when it comes to a directional antenna. But it was one of the best selling directional antennas that uh, Maplin used to stock. So here's a look now on the inside. It did take a little bit of work to uh, split the uh, case here because it is glued down as well as well as the plastic clips but uh, here we can see it's a very simple design we've got the reflector here and this is uh, a tin not aluminium because they have soldered directly to this so that's the reflector and this is the main driven element here now you can see at the side they've come in with the uh, coax down here soldered the ground plane down onto there and then the main driven element here on this side so it's not going to win any awards with the uh, VSWR here uh, remember in previous videos I said if you want to get the VSWR down you need to uh, create some kind of feed point where you have a uh, slot cut out here and feed it somewhere you know close to the uh, center but uh, you know as we saw in that quick Wi-Fi scan it does uh, work and uh, it does seem to be uh, about DB uh, DBI uh, more powerful than the Alpha one so it is probably around uh, 8 dBi with this uh, single driven element here. So let's get some measurements of this driven element. So at its widest there it's 47.8.7 uh, millimeters uh, wide and uh, top to bottom it is 41 41.4 millimeters high and that's a, a typical kind of measurement you find with uh, you know a single uh, driven element panel antenna like this but as I said if you did cut the feed down into here so you had your feed point uh, somewhere uh, in the middle here you would get a better VSWR I mean normally you'd come up at the bottom here and do that but uh, yeah it's uh, cheap it's uh, you know three pounds uh, fifty free shipping from China and uh, yeah it does work about 8 dBi. There's the uh, Alpha uh, design here next to the cheap Chinese one and uh, f as a first impression you'd be forgiven for thinking that this is a uh, bi-quad design and uh, I have seen blogs over the years remember this is a very old design from the uh, mid 2000s but uh, people have claimed that this is a bi-quad uh, element type of uh, design but uh, it's not it belongs to the uh, slot antenna family of design and the reason for that is you've got this shape here that uh, does look like a little bow tie but uh, it's got two elements missing on this side and two elements missing on this side and that's why it doesn't perform quite as well as a single biquad but this here is dielectric so this is all metal and it's etched out a little bit like a uh, negative on a photograph and uh, it's exactly the same way uh, that a uh, slot antenna would radiate um, you know its radiation uh, how it uh, transmits its radiation into the air because uh, you could take this uh, PCB here and just etch out a single slot and uh, you know it works in exactly the same way but because they've gone for this type of pattern you do get a little bit more gain out of this type of pattern because it's radiating on all of its sides rather than just a single slot where you just uh, be radiating in the one uh, area this is uh, you know having the horizontal and the vertical and you get that little bit more gain because you've got more surface area of your elements as well so it does belong in the slot uh, antenna family tree and not the biquad antenna family tree but uh, it's a very effective design and as I've said use this many times over the years as a uh, yardstick to test other antennas against and you can see that I have desold this uh, more than once over the years to uh, make a copy of this pattern I've never 
uh, done this on the channel but uh, I have made copies of this pattern in the past and etched it out and uh, again you know I had very good results operating similar to the way this one does so nothing too groundbreaking with the design of this antenna or uh, you know its performance overall but uh, one thing I forgot to note is there's a little arrow on the top here just to show you in which direction you should be pointing this I mean the alpha one has got alpha written on the front so uh, you know exactly uh, where to point that one but uh, you know to call it an alpha knockoff I think is a little bit of a stretch yeah they're playing with the, the overall design of the antenna and uh, possibly if somebody just uh, spots this because they've seen uh, somebody else using one of these on holiday let's say they probably think they were buying the same thing but uh, if they did buy the same thing then yeah it performs uh, a little bit better than the uh, alpha one and you know every antenna has got its uh, use and uh, designed uh, for a different purpose which is one of the reasons why it's very difficult to do uh, a knockout video with antennas which a lot of people have asked for uh, over the years but uh, if you had a router with three outputs on the back so you had two omnidirectional antennas and uh, you put this one in the middle for instance then you know if you wanted to get a little bit more uh, of a signal in different areas of your home at different times you, you could use this point it in the direction of your conservatory for instance or you know uh, if you've got your office upstairs you could uh, you know angle it to be uh, pointing in that general direction and it probably will uh, produce a better uh, Wi-Fi signal in that area and then you've got you've still got your two omnidirectional antennas on your router for you know omnidirectional so you get a general overall kind of coverage and this just to give it a little bit of boost in those dead areas so you know you can't really knock it really and it does seem to work at around the uh, 8 dbi that it claims which is again a little bit unusual for uh, some of these chinese antennas but i'm pretty sure if you look deep enough on ebay you'd find a seller claiming something much higher with this antenna so hopefully you enjoyed uh, this quick hopefully quick little video taking a look on the inside of this uh, cheap little panel antenna off ebay and also taking a quick look at uh, the uh, original alpha directional antenna here but uh, you know if you did please uh, you know stick a like on this video uh, any comments or questions drop them below and uh, hopefully you'll join me on the next one